Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an adult orangutan. I take two fingers in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line in, curve line down, and stop. Come back to the dot, curve line out, curve line in, curve line out, and connect. I come right up here at this indentation and I draw a big curve line down off the page. I come on the right hand side. I draw a big curve line down off the page. I come right about inside, right up on top, and I'm just going to draw a curve line in, little curve line out, right underneath. I draw on the left hand side curve line, curve line connect. On the right hand side, curve line, curve line connect. Right underneath, I'm going to go curve line up, back, and back on the right. And now on the left, I mean the left, now on the right, I do the same thing curve line, curve line up and curve line back. Come right down here on the left and we're going to draw a curve line connect on the left and a curve line connect on the right. Right about here we're going to draw a big curve line over and another big curve line back and connect. Okay this looks like a little squirrely because we have to do a lot of fur. So let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, to color my orangutan, I am going to first color in the eyes with black, right and left. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to color in my nose, nostrils, I should say, and these are black. Okay? Now, we're going to triple color this guy or girl. So the first thing I do is I get a gray. If you don't have gray, you can use a light color like yellow or maybe even a light brown. And I'm just going to draw some curved lines right here. I'm going to draw some lines underneath. This is just to put some color in. I'm going to come up. I'm going to do underneath my eyebrows some gray and I'm going to bring that down in the center right here gray put a little bit okay this is building up our color then I want everybody to try and get a loose because this is fur a loose up down up down off the page I mean off the line thing of color of gray. Come up on top, we're going to do the same thing. Up, down, up, down, and off the actual line. And that's because orangutans have a lot of very silky fur, and we're going to build up the color. I'm going to put a little bit of gray up on top, but I really want to get this outside gray going. Right and left, inside, inside a little bit on his face her face his face their face okay once I've done the gray then because we work light to dark I'm gonna come in with my orange because he's really very orange and I'm gonna do my under eyes and I'm gonna come up and do my brow this is his brow and I'm gonna come down and start going over the gray with my orange I'm going to leave this section alone, but I'm going to do the face, forehead, and now I'm ready. Come in a little bit underneath the brow, and now I'm ready to add orange over the gray all across the top. 
this is that up down up down come inside and do the body this is the body up down up down and really add that orange because that's really the color that you see them is orange okay up down up down get that orange on now you can always add more gray because that's light and you can always add more orange but the next color we have to be kind of careful with and that's the brown so the brown we want to come up and do the top part of our head we want to come in and do the top bottom part underneath of our brow we want to come in and do our eyes a little bit come up on the top and put some uh, brown on the top part of the eyes bring it down a little bit stay away from the mouth and all of that and now we can put a layer of brown over the gray over the orange and do some up down up down lines for that silky fur that they have not too much come in and do his brow okay and then you can look at it and go well okay where does it need a little bit more color so it looks more like I really got the fur okay if you have that gray handy let's do the inside of our lip this is our lip the inside of our lip gray okay now get a green because they are in the jungle and let's do a dark green loop-de-loop -loop in the background for all those jungle leaves and Borneo dark green and you can come in and kind of do a little framing around the fur loop-de-loop -loop it now what I would do is I would do my main drawing maybe one day and then do the coloring of the animal the second day and then do the background the third day so you don't get tired and your hand doesn't hurt because these colors really look vibrant when you do them dark okay looks good at least for a beginning let's see what he looks like all colored in okay here's my orangutan all colored in if I was teaching this in my own classroom this first black line and this black line for shoulders and heads I might do with a brown crayon so it molds into the whole animal a little bit cleaner okay bye bye